future. Up and running. Apparently. Cool. Yeah, I just muted it. Good. <laughs> it's still playing. Hi. Welcome back to Joyless Gaming and uh, Fallout 4 Survival. Uh, right. Um, ooh, it's all foggy. Ooh, spooky. Not really. Um, as usual, I've got a fucking clue what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> uh, you deserve that, Preston. So, right, what was I doing last time? Oh yeah, Vault 81, that's right, I picked up the things, so I can go do that. I might do that, because I've never actually done that before. should really assign somebody to defense... Not much point having the guard towers without assigning somebody to them. Because I don't think you can... You can assign Preston to do it, but I don't think you can have him as a companion and therefore able to command him to do that until after you've done the, uh, like, the Ten Pines Bluff thing, where you go over there, they tell you to go kill the raiders in the... in the thing... The, what is it, the Corvega factory? And, um... So you go do that, and you come back, and it's like, yeah, let's let's restart the Minutemen. And I think that's when you can get him as a companion. Which is, as I said, what enables you to... That's my shotgun, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, when you can have him as a companion, you can assign him to do stuff like man the guard towers. Um... You are right, Carla? So, yeah. Um... Because I don't feel like starting the Minutemen related stuff, because then you just keep getting more and more the settlement needs your help stuff. this sort of series thing to get <laughs> taken over by Preston and his fucking Minutemen.
never actually done the Minutemen stuff. I mean, like, I've done a lot of the uh, settlement need your help crap. Done a lot of settlement helping. But I've never, because it. The quest line actually continues when you go and retake the castle, and I've never done that. And I probably won't do that on survival. I might do it for myself at some point if I get around to playing this game for myself again, rather than for streams, but... Um, yeah. for free respawning stuff. Why does this keep respawning the stuff? It's weird because it's... It's not a settlement or anything. And it's respawning the stuff, but it's not respawning enemies, which is fine, quite frankly, but... Have I not cleared the cell? I've cleared the location. It doesn't respawn enemies. Maybe it never does, but... I can't really do anything with it. It's right next to Grey Garden, which you can do something with. Ooh, it's a mine I never noticed. Where is it? There it is. Ha! <laughs> Looks like it was upside down. Uh, still marked as cleared, so I wonder if it's still empty inside, or if it's respawned anyone. I suppose part of the problem with it respawning enemies is that there's normally a named uh, raider in there, raider boss, who's not supposed to respawn. Oops. Now I found this place, but I... You do actually have to have been contacted by them as a representative of the Minutemen to be able to build there, don't you? That works, right? Yeah. One and two.
think we may as well. I know technically this is like crouch running, but I really wish there were a, a way to increase your movement speed while sneaking. So, I mean, I know I've got the equivalent to the silent running perk because now I can move at this speed and still be sneaking, but um, you get really good at sneaking, it would be just great if you could cover distances really quickly. Then again, that would be the kind of thing that might suggest a build type where it's a sacrifice to spend the perk points or whatever on getting that. Whereas this game, you've got endless leveling, so you can basically spend the perk points wherever you want. There's no sacrificing because you'll get more later. It's not a level cap or anything. Something seems to have gone a bit wrong with the Twitch page. It just says I'm streaming. It doesn't say what game I'm streaming, and it used to do that. But... So you're back. I take it you got what Overseer McNamara was looking for. Yep, all three of them. All right. I'm opening the door. Overseer McNamara and myself will meet you at the entrance. Oh, and behave yourself. If you start any trouble, we'll toss your ass right back outside. So this is actually new to me. I know of the stuff that's in here, but I don't actually never played it before, so. guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation-free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Well, it is dangerous out there. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. 
Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hope you're not making any trouble. So is there something further from there? Or do I just wander in and talk to people? Another outsider. What? Oh. Can it, okay. Excuse me. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. Yeah, well, it is dangerous. It's pretty dangerous. You wouldn't last a day. Yeah, that's the fear. At least with the way the Overseer has us working, 81 will still be around for a while. Well, it's already been around for 200 years. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Signs of radiation. Impressive. Um, do you see this red on my health bar? The work never ends in Vault 81. Hey, Ashes. How's it gonna be? Here. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Oi! Oi! No! Oi! Come back! Kitty! No! 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 Bad kitty! No! Stop that! That's... No, that's bad! Don't... Oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to go recover that cat, aren't I? incident on my watch and I don't want to start today excuse me officer Aaron's cat managed to get out of the vault can't imagine he'll live too long out there in the Commonwealth I heard we had a traitor in today Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Yeah, all right. I guess I just... Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. <laughs> How did you know I was here? Gran says I have a knack for finding stuff out that I'm not supposed to. Actually, she ain't my Gran. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my Gran. When my mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, do you want me to show you around or not? Yeah, uh, why not, okay. kid? Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. I didn't know his name was Austin. I didn't know it. 
I didn't see it pop up. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot. So I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet he killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and Raiders. I bet he fought Raiders too. I bet I've killed a lot of strange things, that's all. Ah, oh, kids, they're excited about that sort of stuff, aren't they? The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. She's Does probably she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The Somersets are nice though. You'll like them. Crowded? I don't know about very crowded because there's not really a lot of people that I've seen so far. Then again, you don't have a lot of chairs or tables, do you? I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of her hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grant makes me comb it. <laughs> Oh, Bob is right, okay. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. This is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hydroponics. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Gran grows it all here. She's really smart. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Kate. Yeah, I just need to eat something because apparently I've gotten peckish. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. No, I did. I've been around a long time. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. There's Dr. more. And Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. That's a pretty decently sized vault, then. There's even more downstairs to go. This is 
our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. I suppose they wanted to treat this as something like an actual sort of settlement with a whole bunch of NPCs and services and everything. Aaron, look who I found! The swinger from the Commonwealth! You need to go and fetch your cat, I'm sure. I am. Whoa, someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I'm here now. Don't wait up for me. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Let's tend to that first, huh? You should stop by the lab in the morning and take a look at the new crops. Hi, how are you? Calvin's always looking for tools. I heard he'll pick cats if you got him. She's looking pretty bad in there. So yeah, it seems like they definitely wanted to have this be another settlement. That's all right. Then I didn't really realize that they'd made this one of the other settlements, pre-existing settlements. Well, vaguely miffed with the fact that um Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these long times. Stay out of trouble. I don't know if a lot of other people had the same complaint I did about Fallout 3, that there were just so few so few uh pockets of civilization, relatively speaking. A lot of them are located in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Um, you, know, you could barely count, like, Big Town or or even the, what is it, pa I think it was Paradise Falls, where the raiders or the slavers were. You could join them if you were evil, or rather, like, you could uh, get into Tenpenny Tower. If you were evil, Tenpenny Tower replaced um, Megaton. Don't be dead, kitty.
Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Meow. Hey, cricket. Yeah. That's not a sweet roll. Yeah, but anyway, it just sort of seemed like in Fallout 3 that there were not... There weren't enough settlements and places that were... There were, you know, a bunch of locations on the map, sure, but there weren't enough places that were already occupied. And the ones that were there... It's probably why it felt like there weren't enough, because they were all clustered towards the bottom right hand of the map, rather than rather than being spread out a bit more evenly. And I just sort of had the unfortunate thing of this game, they felt felt like they just wanted to um You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. <laughs> if they've been trying to steal it, then they're dead. Yeah, but um Okay. Yeah, they wanted you to make all the settlements, so there's not not as many. But you know, knowing that this is one of them, it's it's a bit more than the handful. Because primarily, what are you looking at? You're looking at Diamond City, Good Neighbor, now Vault Eighty One. I mean, where else is a significant settlement? Hey, sweetie. Ashes! You found him! Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Bad kitty. I was so worried about you. And I bet Mom's gonna make me give you a bath. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school I know, anymore. I don't like it either. But I'm just happy you're back. <laughs> Jason Katz. Which one was Dr. Forsyth? The medical person or the... Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample. Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. Um, yeah, but why not tell him that you're not from the Commonwealth as such? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. 
Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. Because, uh... There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Oh, it's above me, isn't it? <laughs> That's you getting things prepared, is it? I often wonder about medical facilities in the Commonwealth and just how sanitary they must be. <laughs> uh. All right, these are people's. I heard we had a trader in today. Yeah, I guess that's me. Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Oh, I think I have plenty of my own. Huh? Yeah, it seems a bit sort of foolish to say, oh yeah, I'll give you some blood so you can compare the populations and all that sort of stuff, but... Yeah, if you don't point out that you're... He's not banging her, he's just getting her to cover for him getting high. I'll be damned if that whole duck isn't gonna need replacing. I swear, it's something new every day. Hi, Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. Need any help? I'll be quick, I promise. Ha! We'll see about that. What can I do you for? So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old lady one here, she's a straight up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Sure, you got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. So is there a... thing for that? Apparently not. You want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. This would be like general My traders. Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. I didn't even notice. Thanks for being polite. No. Let me should... know if there's something I can get for you. You should really see what it looks like out there. Everything lying around here. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hull, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. Why do you say that? I really shouldn't get into it. Why not? It's good to talk about things. Well, I just hate to dump all my problems on someone I just met. 
I'm sure compared to the Commonwealth, marital issues are so trivial. That's okay. You don't have to talk about it. Thanks. I never should have brought it up. But back to business. Anything I can help you with? I can't tell. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Can't be guaranteed of success, and I. It's probably one of those things that, as usual, you only get one shot at. Might be the last combat armor chest piece. Oh, polymer, right, yes. So definitely scrap that. It's one of the things, you end up not wanting to sell a lot of stuff that you find, because it's better to scrap it. And then probably don't want to sell aid items either. Certainly don't want to sell junk items, I'm going to use that. Oh, yeah. Gun mods. 38 ammo. I've got plenty of 10 mil ammo. Why have I got another fusion core? Where did that come from? Shoots an additional projectile, so it takes... Spends ammo at twice the rate, but fires two shots at once, therefore dealing more damage. And it's a 45 rifle. A combat rifle. Hmm. Nah. Seems like overkill. Oh, you can increase the movement speed on legendary effects. Great. Destroy his right leg. <laughs> Eleven, eleven. So it's combat armor. Pardon me. Yeah, it's all combat armor. Left arm guard. Oh, that must be heavy combat armor. Must have some mods on them. Ooh, ammo. Let's get some three oh eights. Some forty no, not forty fours. Forty well, actually that's a lot more forty fives than I really need, isn't it? <laughs> Usually tend to find forty fives. Let's just trade for that at the moment. Uh, I need more seed. Is that so? Maybe I can help you with that. This strain is doing quite well. Dr. Penske. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. My latest batch of fruit is doing quite well. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Why? It's a new strain of mute fruit that I just developed. It should be nutritious and remove radiation poisoning. But I really? need a test subject to try it. Okay. Uh, sure. I like fruit. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter? Fresh mute fruit. F. Doesn't remove radiation. I wonder if it removes radiation on normal. Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Smells funny? That's not good. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? It was good. 
No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the Overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. I imagine it's one of those, oh, you get paid for whatever you bring in situations. Do I actually have any? No, junk. F. No, not on me. I would have dumped it all. You got fertilizer there. What are you. Mm. Haircuts, actually, I saw a. Yes. It's food, and that's Stay safe, sir. laboratory. No, oh, lavatory, not laboratory. So <laughs> what I get for trying to read it from further away. Of course, it's nice pip boy. If it had a stats acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. Okay. Excuse me, Overseer. Take time to look around. You'll have the full run of the place. So you don't want to talk to me? Don't have anything for me? Calvin's always looking for tools. I heard he'll pay caps if you got them. So does it mean, like, tools like screwdrivers and hammers and stuff like that? This is just like storage. Classroom, eh? Damn it. She's holding that wrench. Wrenches too, yeah, those are those are tools. I suppose I don't normally have any other uses for them. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Easy, practically anorexic. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? Um, <laughs> too graphic, it might be a bit of a... I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Short stories. Hello, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? Um, uh, <laughs> what topics should I avoid? Nothing with excessive violence. And I'm sure they'll have lots of questions. I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so <laughs> excited. Children, children, listen up. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a death claw? Uh, one of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? <laughs> Killed Raiders barehanded. More rat story about Raiders being trapped. A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. <laughs> I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. And a minigun. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And the we horrors. have a thank you gift for you. Here. Drug make a barbarian. <laughs> you get one of those every time, or? Yeah, I'll get you. The overseer says I'm good to see you. Way better than Brand. But I don't know. I think Brand's pretty good. At least with me, she is. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. Okay, well, that's probably enough. Unless I can get a quest from the overseer. Where did the overseer go? 
Yes? Did I get injured? Maybe it was when I was banging my head on the ceiling. My good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Okay, so that was not... What's his face? Hi, how are you? I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. Yeah, that's the guy that is suspected he's banging her. He's in school. Huh? Some guardian you are. Wait a minute, is that a no? That was just the light of the thing. Was there a bobblehead in there? Huh. So you're the reason the patrols are double today. Huh? Oh, what, to just keep an eye on me? Where did the overseer go? Go back to her office? I need more soup. Why didn't you give me that as a repeatable quest? I could get, like, we had a traitor. samples for you. Oh. Hello? Anybody home? Apparently not. Okay, where did she go? Don't mind me. What I wouldn't give for some brand spanking new genuine Vault Tech parts right now. I need to check the water pumps again. That also sounds like something I should be helping with. Wasn't there a robot down here? Overseer's terminal. Interesting. Ah. Uh, see, I do happen to know some things about this vault, and that's probably how you find them out. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. Staying pretty busy these days? Quite so. Mr. DeLuca has made it his life's work to occupy my time. Not only do I specialize in reactor maintenance, but now I am trained in doing his laundry, fetching libations, and generally picking up after him. Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. Fix this, fix that. Never ends. Good thing we have old Rusty, or nothing would ever get done around here. 
Hmm. But yes, I do happen to know that uh, you find the other part of the vault. Keep walking, outsider. Just because you wear a vault suit doesn't mean you're one of us. I don't wear a vault suit. Don't you see? I'm wearing these like old army things. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can patch you up. All right, I'm gonna have to guess that she's gone to the front of the vault or something. Work never ends, It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. Another lamb. Then again, if it's a master, if you can't get the quest line without being a, having the ability to hack master terminals, then that seems wrong, unless that's just a different way of getting it. Which would also be alright, actually. Uh, something that any decent role-playing game, not that this is really a role-playing game, but any decent role-playing game should have is various ways of doing things and sometimes various ways of finding out about them. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. Hi, how are you? Yes. Watch yourself. All right. Another outsider. What they let you in for. What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before. We don't need it now. The Overseer never should have opened up the vault to your kind. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. should all be looking up to me. I saw the bombs drop. Even though technically if I did, I should be blind. If not dead. Well, anyway, that seems like there's no progress to be made there just at the moment. Maybe I need to help out quite a bit. That used to be something that was um, good, is it? Until you had a decent reputation with a bunch of people that, you know, you, they wouldn't offer you any advancement in quest lines or anything because they didn't trust you enough. Something that, that was done fairly well, I think, in... Um, well, it was done all right in Fallout New Vegas. Um, but largely because... I think the, the downside of the way it was done in New Vegas was that it was based on faction reputation, which meant that you could help out people on different sides of the map that were in the same faction, but despite the fact that they were, you know, so far from each other, they still knew about you. Rather than sort of being settlement to settlement. Although there were a few settlements that were actually like not aligned, as it were. Alright, so... I'm hungry and ill, right? That's what it was just telling me. Mm. It's 
why I don't want to get that one. right I didn't do that because I don't really want to go there because that's close to the thing that starts bloody automatron and I don't want to start automatron because then you just have bloody uh, what are they called rust devils just showing up everywhere then and not, they're not exactly fun that quest starts at level 15 but you're not really prepared for it at level 15 and now that I'm on survival, I don't think I ever really want to be trying it. Hardware Town's not cleared anymore. Don't want to go into the Boston Merrill Shelter, there's a bloody death claw in there. used to have to avoid this area of the map as well, it was sort of in here seemed to be this tendency for the game to crash. I don't think I've ever gone into that, unless that's to do with the Nick Valentine thing. Bottles are good for getting some bottled water. It's pronounced nuclear. stuff because you can use it to make things that you probably would only make on survival I don't know if you can I don't know how much of it you would use on normal if you can even make it on normal because you can't even make like antibiotics in those herbal treatments you can't even make them on normal Because the effects that they provide are unnecessary because you don't have to worry about being infected or uh, you know, all these illnesses and stuff like that. Hanging onto that dirty water in case I ever pick up things like I should make noodle cups because the fact that they give you food and water is useful. So this place has got three beds now. Let's 
going on? Oh no, wait, I don't, yeah. I wanted to leave that door locked. You don't have to worry about NPCs coming through there. Although, unless there are any proper resources at Hangman's Alley, it's not going to attract attackers, is it? Will you though? It just goes through there. This is a tiny tunnel, isn't it? What was a giant truck doing driving through that tiny tunnel? Is that it? Ooh, leather. I was going to save it again, I think. Scrap this uh, piece of armor. Which I could do in Diamond City, or I think. I think there's actually a. Um, Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. What if I'm moving away? Does that count as making a move? There's a. Oh, stuff it. I can't remember where it is. It's not far, I don't think, but I can't remember exactly where. Or if one of the places nearby has a, um, a thing, you know, armor bench. But there's definitely an armor bench in here. Hey, pal. Selling papers is busy work, mister. Diamond City Surplus. Everything you need. Just buy or sell whatever you need. 
Up yours. Hey, no shame in taking this bitch for Ken. Solomon can hook you up. Huh? Him. It's not like I'm addicted or anything like that. Usually they say that when you're walking around with a, some sort of chem addiction. So there ain't no shame in taking them. I wasn't. I suppose part of the bigger problem with the fact that this is because I was just thinking about how you don't get XP for scrapping something, but imagine if you did. Because you don't get heaps of XP for crafting. And you wouldn't get an awful lot of XP for scrapping either, but... You do a lot of scrapping. If you got XP for it, it would really help you level up a bit faster. And for a game that where they want you to just play forever with one character and keep leveling up... Leveling up is really quite slow. And even the repeatable quests don't give you an awful lot of XP. I think, is there a perk that you can take that gives you more XP, aside from just raising your intelligence, I suppose? There's something, I forget where you get it, unless, ah, oh, it might be from Piper. There's some uh, perk where you you get double XP for finding new locations. You really would have to get that early on. But there's something about... Criticals do... Does that affect sneak attack? Criticals? Probably not. Because they treat criticals as a different thing. Randomly receive... Yeah, triple XP from any action. But randomly. You need a low intelligence to get that. Probably a high luck as well. Alright, so... Alright, let's... Let's see about following up on this. Broke up with my girl. She kept the cat with a toothpaste. Know who does that? A sin. People are really paranoid. This looks like a... Really looks like a security breach there. <laughs> got all these barricades and stuff over here, but you got this spot that people can just walk through. at some point but I'm really reluctant to because of you know worried about dying is go into the library because that's where the intelligence bobblehead is boost my XP gains as well as open up whatever the next perk is, not that I necessarily want whatever the next perk is, I think I was happy with the amount of intelligence I gave this character. Oh yeah, level 30. Nuka world. I don't think so.
Where's the guy? I shot a person. Where is that person's corpse? Oh, there it is. Metal leather. Always need leather for some reason. Yeah. That must be because this is respawned. If the enemies inside have respawned, then the enemies outside respawn as well. this place, this isn't even really a settlement, this is just a bunch of people who want to rob you. Now, I think I may have actually wandered in there at one point and shot all of those. No? Unless that spawns in your plaza. No? Unless it's not a marked location. Hmm. Construction site with a whole bunch of super mutants in it. I thought that I had gone in there at some point and... If I've ever actually settled Bunker Hill or got them on my side, but I just cannot remember what it is you do to get them to be an allied settlement, unless it's progress through the story. Could be. Alright, so this is inside the bad DFL. any further that way and I'm going to where the thing spawns which I don't want to because I do not want to start the Automatron DLC Is this place still cleared? Or is it reset because of Quest one. Is there anything that I have at level 30? No, 31 for gun damage. 39 for crafting. 38 for sneaking. Still don't have silenced weapons, so there's not a lot of point taking that. Although I could put a silencer on my shotgun, but that makes it even less effective. Uh, 
33 for more ninja. It's basically level 31. It's two things. to excuse me for a minute. On the interruption. Nice. Yeah, that just respawned because I don't think that's there. We go. I think that respawned as well. on gold. One match on them. Your trip.
die from the headshot sneak attack, but uh, apparently not. Sniper rifle. I think I actually already kept no sign of them now. Fifty caliber hunting rifle. So I can actually scrap that and that. Well, I do appreciate the functionality of this chameleon arm piece. Sometimes it's a bit... Clear the place before I start going and scavenging these bodies because they've got. There is a. I've got armor stuff I want to scrap, but there is actually a. An armor workbench. Assassins from Russia as good as you? I seriously doubt it. 
This is where we eat. Real giant stag. I'm about to be injured too because I'm carrying too much and can't run. Oh, it's expert, that's why I never unlocked that. Metal just gives you steel, and steel isn't really all that hard to come by. No matches with whole wall. Two matches with scarf. Miscellaneous. 
N N N N N N Detective Valentine, Nick, listen, I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset. But you need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believed in it. I still believe in it. It kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon, and they laid it all out. The whole thing. Winter's deal with the DA, his agreement to bring down the other families, his idea to record the holotapes and incriminate all known associates, and them needing a legitimate op and a real task force to make it all look like Winter was the focus. It was the plan all along, Nick. There's nothing we can do. Winter was a stoolie for the feds. He reported directly to the BAD TFL, all on the books. For his cooperation, Winter will be granted total immunity. It's over. Effective immediately, Operation Winter's End is to cease all investigations and operations. The task force is hereby disbanded. Because you'd have to be a complete maniac to want to use a fat man on survival. Don't think I can pick this. Yeah, the problem with them making it so that you had to have the requisite perk rank in order to even attempted. It's just a downgrade. Considering that in Skyrim, they let you do it. I think they let you do it in spite of difficulty. Hell, in in bloody uh, in Oblivion, they let you pick locks regardless of their difficulties. So that if you actually were good at the mini game, you know, player skill could come into dealing with that stuff, not just uh, not just character skill. And really what that allows you to do is that if you make it so that you can attempt it no matter what, you make it then that if you've invested in the skill or the perk points or whatever, it's just really easy to reward you for having invested in it. That's why I hate this thing of uh, they went back to let's, let's keep it as a percentage chance to succeed in dialogue things based on your charisma. And they don't even tell you the percentage in this game. But it's still a chance. You could fail 
even if you're, you know, a master of the skill. That's how it was in bloody Fallout 3. You can master the speech skill and have maximum charisma, not that it made a difference. And still fail a speech check, because if they decided it's going to be a really hard speech check, you shouldn't be guaranteed success, despite investing in the skill. And that is not a way to reward players for their choices. It's pretty much the opposite of rewarding gameplay. Because if it's going to be a chance all the time, you may as well not invest in the skill and like quick save before every uh, dialogue opportunity and just keep attempting it until you succeed. So if you make it so that you can attempt like the lock picking or hacking minigame, Who are these people? Bloody buggy game. Yeah. If you make the mini games attemptable, even if you don't have perks or whatever unlocked that are of the appropriate level, but that if you're good at the game, Because like hard or master, um, you know, expert or master, hacking mini games in these pretty much look that way. Even if you, well, I mean, they look that way because you have to have the skill at the right level to be able to attempt it, rather than you know they just being a more difficult version of it. You know, longer words. So therefore, right now. figuring out the matches is more difficult because if you match three out of nine, it's not really helpful. But matching three out of five is quite helpful. So if you just have more options in this, and but then the skill level or the perk points makes it easier you can even make the, the difficult ones still just be a case of it's you know longer words but there are fewer if you've got a higher skill or more perk points or whatever and when you start the mini game it's got fewer fewer alternate options fewer incorrect options Got too many teeth to be a scab. Ah. Hi. I'm a sheep, hear me bar. <laughs> Why you come up with a name like that? Ooh, Sandman kill. No, I don't want to do that. I like these people. The survivor from sort Augusta, of. Blackbird, is dead. I didn't find any evidence of where the synth is. Wake up. Get up. Talk to me. Give me XP. As I expected. Well, at least you weren't hurt. You made cheap voices for Rona will listen to me next time. Hopefully this will help you in your future missions. Now, if you don't mind... Oh, great, I'm back to carrying too much. 
Well, there was a lot of XP. Combat armor helmet. Thank you. That's a weapon workbench. Still not as good as a hat with ballistics weave, but I can live with that. It's all, wait a minute. Does it still let me wear? Yes, I can still wear sunglasses, excellent. Three thirty-eight of three thirty-five. Damn. All right, let's take some booze and run. Glad you're with us. this much junk on me, I feel compelled to dump it back at Sanctuary. that hard to load that was just outside come on out. Yeah. Good, it's not telling me about the mercenaries or whatever that is supposedly standing there. Sure. No, thanks.
I suddenly became that kind of over encumbered while swimming. Surely I should just drown. Parched, am I? And am I also hungry? No, I can't be. Got all this food stuff so not in there. Uh, water. Move a couple works too. Keeps me fed as well. Is the bet that the Nuka Cola and Bottle Cap Mine and stuff like that has respawned in this area again? It's like somebody making deliveries. <laughs> Keep it stocked. doing something with all that booze I collected. <laughs> Even if it is just to improve my carry weight temporarily. <sighs> Not that it's really good for much else. I suppose you could use it if you were into melee combat. Improve your damage because it improves your strength. I suppose a charisma based build could kind of work. Use it for the uh, extra charisma buff, and there's a. It is a charisma perk, isn't it? That lets you get wasted with no ill effects. Yeah. You don't get addicted. Just keep on downing that booze.
Damn, he got out. Would have been funny if he stayed trapped in there. Let's. job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. Yeah, I don't care. Oh no, wait a minute. I want to keep the tools that I'd collected, didn't I? So I can take them to Vault 81. Just the wrench. Oh, and somebody wanted fertilizer. I'll take fertilizer as well. Hammers. Am I missing anything? I'm not paying close enough attention. Do scissors count? Screwdrivers probably do. Oh no, I was carrying that for a specific reason, wasn't it? I was thinking I'd probably go into Jamaica Plain with it and being able to make some water things there, but it weighs nothing, so I may as well keep it on me. Why are they not stacked? Wrench. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, keep the metal helmet. I'll give it to a follower at some point if I ever get around to doing that. All oh, this booze. That's right, it would be as vegetable starch, wouldn't it? Each one is five adhesive though, so that's alright. Should I wall this off? <laughs> Enclose the garage. Even just for aesthetics.
Oh yeah. I'll have to make another one of those one day. Alright, well anyway, I think since I've made it back to Sanctuary. I'm not much use in a fight anymore. But back in the day, folks used to call me Murphy the Mad Woman. I think we'll uh Call it a day there, been gone for a couple of hours and I've got myself back at Sanctuary. I feel like didn't really accomplish much, but then again, I think it has been streams where I've accomplished less. So I guess I'll just say thanks for anybody watching. See you next time, whenever, for whatever. Bye.